Presley Center is a unique unit in the University of California system. It's the only uh, research center funded directly by the legislature. It's been a very exciting opportunity to have the resources that the, that the center has and to be able to use them to work with law enforcement, to work with state agencies and community organizations and city governments uh, in the region and also throughout the state to try to fulfill the mission of you know, understanding crime and violence, where it comes from, and how we can prevent it. I was approached uh, several years ago by uh, a group in San Bernardino called the Institute for Public Strategies. They approached me to see if there was some way that I could help them uh, come up with research that would look at the relationship between liquor stores and their locations and their density and so on, and uh, you know the outcomes of crime and violence. We found that two things. One, that the density of alcohol outlets, period, just by itself, was significantly and positively related to the rate of violence, okay? But second, independent of the density of stores themselves, the stores with higher uh, percentages of single serve containers on their shelves had an independent positive effect on violence. So when we got done with the study, we went before the city council and we presented the results to the city council. They decided to construct uh, an ordinance, a new law, which uh, would prohibit new stores being open from now on in San Bernardino from selling single serve containers, period. One of the things that's unique about UCR that, that really is, uh, contributes to my success is the, uh, the diversity of the students we have at UCR. What that diversity does, among other things, is it, it gives me access to folks who have a wide range of experience and a wide range of uh, personal histories coming from different kinds of communities. M many of these communities are affected by crime and violence. I really am motivated in part by just a desire to understand why violence happens. Where does it come from? What are its origins? What are the factors that make it more likely? Uh, what are the factors that make it less likely? Just for a pure knowledge sake, uh, I'm interested in, in solving that puzzle. Uh, second though, I am very much interested and motivated by the idea that once we have some new knowledge about why crime occurs, how can we use that knowledge to help the communities uh, reduce crime?